Number 72. Which of the following concentrations would be practically equal in a calculation of the equilibrium concentrations in a 0.134 molar solution of H2CO3, a diprotic acid? So who would be equal? The concentration of hydronium, H3O+, the concentration of hydroxide, OH-, H2CO3, HCO3-, or CO3-. No calculations are needed to answer this question. Thank goodness. Okay. So this question, the, how we're going to answer it is we have to pull up the Ka values for um, the acid, carbonic acid, right? Now they said that there was a diprotic acid. Diprotic, remember in chemistry, di means two. Protic means proton. So if we just write that over here, diprotic, it basically just means that you have two protons. So you have two H pluses that you can give away. And remember that you could only give one hydrogen away at a time. So that's why there are two individual Ka values. One, aka Ka number one, is when you give off the first hydrogen. And then the second one, Ka2, is when you finally give off the second hydrogen. So let's just write a balanced equation for the first one, right? So I will just write this in water. Remember, with acids, you don't have to write it in water, uh, but I just want to do it because I notice that they have H3O plus here. So, um, so we'll say this plus water, right? We've done tons of work figuring out how to write these balanced equations. The acid is going to drop one of its hydrogens, turning into HCO3 minus, and then... The H2O will gain that hydrogen, turning into H3O+. Plus. Okay, now this is for the first ionization, so that's where this number comes up. And maybe, oh, we're going a little bit off the page here. There we go, okay. Now, if we had to do this whole thing, right, and maybe I'll get rid of this. This is for H2CO3. If we had to actually do the ice table, right, remember no calculation is needed here, but the setup should be used, we would do the whole setup here, right, and remember, water, since it's a liquid, doesn't get included in my ice table, so I could basically cancel that out. All the other ones are going to be aqueous, so they get included into the calculation. And if we just say ICE, they told us that we had 0.134 molarity of just the H2CO3. So that goes here, 0.134. Now they didn't state that we started off with HCO3 minus or H3O plus, so those would both be zero. C stands for change. You can only go up from nothing. So if you see that you have a zero on one side of your equation, you could always and only go up from there. So the products would have to be plus and the reactants would be minus. Do we know the change at the moment? No, so we'll call it x's. So minus x plus x and plus x. And then equilibrium just brings the two together. 0.134 minus x, so 0 0.134 minus x. 0 plus x is just x, and 0 plus x is just x. So we can kind of see which ones would be equal, right? At equilibrium, you have 0.134 minus x, but then if we actually did the math, we have two values that would just be x. So which one of these would be equal? The HCO3 minus and the H3O plus. So I'm just going to put that over here. So HCO3 minus and H3O plus would be equal. Now, to just further make sure that this is the correct answer, we should talk about the Ka2, the second ionization energy. But remember, as Ka values get so small, this one is times 10 to the negative 11th. That means that at equilibrium, you're going to be favoring your reactant side. So 
In this case, if you have times 10 to the negative 11th, that means that at equilibrium, you basically have close, so I'll say close to no products made. And the products for HCO3 minus would again be H3O plus and then the CO3 two minus if we actually wrote that out. But if there's no basically products being made, there's nothing really added to the H3O plus column, which also further states that these two would be equal. And that is your final answer. And if I just maybe highlight, literally it's X and X, so these two would be equal. And that's the answer for this one. But if you want to actually do the math, go for it. You'll see that those two uh, ions would be basically the same. All right? So I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. And we're moving on to better things. So I'll see you then. Okay, bye-bye.